In this video, I want to show the folder structure generator, a tool in Houdini that helps you set up folder structures on your actual computer from inside of Houdini and do so in like a flexible and procedural way. It can be helpful for if you're trying to do repeated folder structures for a big project or generally you want all your projects to have the same folder structure. You can just set that up once, save it as an HDA and reuse it all the time. So let's uh, dive into it and, and see how it works. So first thing, you drop down a geometry node, and then uh, there's really only two two nodes involved here. If you type in folder gen, there's folder gen root, and then there's folder gen folder. So let's create folder gen root and then folder gen folder. Okay. So as you can see, we have something happening here in the viewport, and so you can actually see the folder structure in the viewport. But we'll get to that in a second. So uh, first things first is you set up your root folder. Uh, in this case, it's just set to the hip folder. Um, but let's Let's go here to desktop. Let's create a new folder. Let's call it test project. Okay, we'll accept that. Okay, so now we set up our folders. So let's say in this folder, we'll have a folder called text, it's called text for textures. And by default, it's set to take the operator name. So whatever is here, but you can also write something else in here. So let's say textures, let's call one geo, um, Let's call one like uh, maybe references. Um, let's call one, let's say assets. Maybe you, you're creating assets for your project. And then maybe under the assets folder, you might have like multiple assets. So let's say asset one. And maybe you just want to duplicate this. Well, let's just call this asset for right now. And then let's say under the asset folder, we might have texture folder. We might have, um, well, I guess call it text too for consistency. We might have a substance folder if you do stuff in substance. Uh, maybe you have a ZBrush folder. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. So let's say this is kind of like the folder you want to have. So all you do is under folder gen root, you just click generate and you get a little pop up here. And so now if I go to my desktop, you can see that those folders are generated, um, which is kind of cool. So in this case, it's called a text one because it was already a text. So in that case, you might want to actually go in and write it into the folder name. So now we generate. It, um, it'll create the right one. Obviously, it won't create folders that are already there. Now, some of the cool things that you can do is, for one, you can duplicate and like have like basically reuse the folder structure from the top. And so if I did this, for example, um, I now, if I generate and go in here, you can see that I have asset one, two, three, and each one of them has that folder structure in there. So if you have like multiple folders that are all set up, you know, with the same contents, you can reuse use them. Now, um, if you're just wanting to like do multiples of the same folder, just with a different suffix or prefix, um, there's also an option for that. So let's go, let's say our asset, let me just delete these assets here so we can see the new generation. Uh, you can click multiple and then it will count for you and you can either make it a suffix which is after a prefix which is before pad zero is how many leading zeros you have so is it zero one or zero zero one um, and so let's say let's make let's make seven of these and you can actually see that in the viewport it like mimics the folder structure and to see the the names that are created you can just click here and um, click name and deer and short for direct directory and so now you can see where those um, where those bits are. So we can actually remove this. Here we go. And uh, yeah, so now if I if I click generate, you can see that there's four assets. And the, the cool thing is because it's procedural, you could make like 30 of these um, generate. And but um, here we got 30 folders with all the right folder structure. This can be pretty powerful, I think. Um, and if you're already familiar with Houdini, it's good fun. So uh, hopefully this is helpful and see you guys sometime soon.